Today, we are opening this, an entire case of Celebrations Mini Tins. I'm really excited to get into these because Mini Tins normally have incredible pull ratios. And as you know, we are trying to master set Celebrations. So today could be the day we finally complete it. And there's only one way to find out. Let's rip into it. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. So today, we we're gonna be opening this entire case of Celebrations Mini Tins. And I just wanna take a moment to like appreciate the actual artwork on the box. I love think it looks fantastic. There's a little Pikachu hiding out in there. Just from every angle, this thing looks absolutely awesome. Look, check out the back. It's stunning and it's probably one of the best looking Sealed Celebrations products you can get your hands on. And speaking of getting your hands on Sealed Celebrations products, we have actually still got some Celebrations products left over on my website, mattcully.co.uk and you can go and grab it now. And we're actually due to get even more in over the coming weeks. So if you don't wanna miss out on grabbing some Celebrations products that are cheaper than RRP, then make sure to go and sign up for the stock alert emails over on the site, mattcully.co.uk. It's linked down in the description down below. Okay, so shameless, uh, self plug out of the way there guys the goal in today's video is to see if we can finish the celebration set I, I plan to complete this set when I knew it was being announced being a 50 card set I thought it was a, an absolute opportunity to master sets like very mind the set sizes of everything nowadays and so far we're doing pretty well we've opened 19 celebrations booster packs and we've managed to do 64% of the set so far. And bear in mind, today's video, we're gonna be opening eight of these tins. Each tin's got two celebrations pack, plus one other random TCG pack. I actually don't know what they are. We're gonna find out today. So that's another 16 packs we get to open to try and complete that set. At the end of the video, I'll be putting all the cards into my app, guys, to see how far along. So if you wanna know how well we get towards that 100% mark, make sure to stick around to the end. I'll be showing you how we get on. Other than that, we're just gonna rip through packs as quickly as we can and see if we can, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can complete the set in today's video. Never know, there's enough packs to do it, so fingers crossed. So for anyone actually wondering, guys, I thought I'd let you know what tins these are. These are the D21 tins. So if you see D21 tins, the packs that come out of these tins will be in the packs that, that you'll get out the same tin. So if you see any with a different code, there's a chance the pack inside could be different. Other than the fact there definitely will be two celebrations packs, the standard pack inside could be different. And we're gonna find out what they all are in these in a sec. But first, let's check out the artwork. So we've got the Gen 1. Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7, and Gen 8. Now, if there was a Gen 9, that would really muck up their, like, tin thing, wouldn't it? You wouldn't be able to do the eight tins. I wonder what they do. This is what comes inside them as well. I'm not going to do it with every tin. I thought I'd show you one. And there we go. We have a giant... Oh, it's silver. So they've got... They've, I think there's actually three different types of coins so far that I've seen. There's a standard one that comes in the ETB. Uh, no, on the front of the drag pole box, sorry. Then you've got one that comes inside the game. Oh, no, uh, the game collection box, the little, or Amazon or the Prime collection box exclusive. That one that was like more glittery gold and different. And then a silver one in the mini tins. That looks nice. You then get the card, like you do in a lot of mini tins. You get this different card. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you can actually piece the cards together. I didn't know that. Uh, there you go. By the way, guys, I quickly knocked the uh, cards all together. How cool is that look? Then we have one, two celebrations packs and a darkness ablaze. So that's going to be fun. I wonder if they're all going to be darkness ablaze. Well, let's open them all up and we'll, we'll find out. Okay, now down to the packs and they were all darkness ablaze. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight darkness ablaze packs. We're going to open all them really quickly first. And then we have the 16 celebrations packs. Look, mini tins do really do a number on uh, on booster packs. Not as bad as Pokeball tins. They're like the worst for putting booster packs in. But yeah, we've got our 16 celebrations packs and uh, hopefully we get some big pulls in them. We're going to kick off with the Darts of Blaze. So let's go for that first. Okay, so I will try to fire through these. Um, there's a really only one card I want from this set, guys. And that is, of course, the Charizard from this set. That'd be awesome. I've seen some people getting a lot of luck pulling the Charizard from the packs that are coming in celebrations, actually, as in, like, the Darkness of Blaze Charizard. And I'll tell you what, if I managed to get that today, I would be stoked. Ah, oh, first one's a dud. Okay, Charizard, don't let us down, boy. Give us a big pull. Darkness of Bla Darkness Blaze is actually probably one of my favourite 
sun uh, sword and shield sets but actually i want to hear from you what's your favorite sword and shield set so far now that celebrations is also included in it dance and blaze is definitely up there with me i am absolutely loving celebrations uh for sure i really am because one of the things i really love about it is it's not an investing set or anything it's purely a set for the love of collecting, right? This is something just to get your hands on some classic cards. The cards are worth nothing, guys. But that's what I think is so great about it. It's just the enjoyment of opening the packs and pulling those big hitters like... Eh, Dark Ray. Okay, one hollow so far. Uh, but as you know, the main stuff we're heading for today is getting some decent celebrations pulls and, and i'm feeling good pull ratios on celebrations are pretty much like seem to be one in two when it comes to classic cards so if that goes the same way with these mini tins then man they've got to be one of the best products to buy celebrations wise other than oh it's a galarian slow bro weirdly this is a promo card Ooh, promo card it's actually on the front of a collection tin but it's not a promo card which is interesting okay we're flying through these darkness ablaze packs right now and so far, not too bad. Two hits from, uh, what's that? This is our fourth pack now, I think. We're halfway through them. We've got two hits so far. But you never know, this this one, this could be a winner right here. This could be a good one. Right, Skormory, Jump Chute, Toxel. I like this card, actually. And, yeah. Oh, it's a Charizard pack artwork in here. Come on. I keep covering the code card, guys, because I don't want to know. I hate knowing what uh, if you're gonna get a decent pull or not out of uh, out of a booster pack it really ruins the surprise for me so uh, I always like to cover it because if it says redeem it's normally not a good pull if it says TCGO it's a good pull and oh full art trainer Pokemon breeders nurturing fantastic I actually have this one I collect full art train cards I do have this but damn that's that's looking pretty clean as well. Centering rise. Corners look nicely shaped. Let's have a proper look on them. That is not bad at all. I'm a happy boy so far. Full art trainer card out of my uh, Darkness of Blaze packs. I take that as a win. That is a big win. And we've still got celebrations to go. We need to. There's a few of the cards that we need from the classic collection. Like, I still don't have the gold star on, but Paul Rich has an app seem enough. Uh, the gold Mew would be a good one to get out of celebrations. And again, on this set, I'm wanting that Charizard, the VMAX Charizard from this, which. Ah, Galarian Stun Fisk V. Two packs left, and then we will crack in to those celebrations packs to see if we get any big hits. What are we thinking? What do you guys reckon? I think. I reckon we got a good shout again the Venusaur today. I feel like we'll get that, and that's one of the ones I need. Um, that seems to be one that uh, gets pulled a lot, actually. I, I don't really know if, like, I've seen videos going on about pull ratios, but some people seem to be pulling the Charizard over and over again. Others say they can't get it. But, oh, man, Center Scorch V. I saw the red, and I was thinking, never know, Charizard. Okay, last Darkness of Blaze pack, and actually, these packs have been really good to me so far. I, I do feel with mini tins, it's always good to try and get hold of a couple rather than just like one tin, because um, the pools seem to be spread throughout the case rather than necessarily uh, per tin as such, as you can see in here. So, Clink, Marini, Torchic, Starly, Skarmory. Okay, last card from Darkness of Blaze, and... Uh, a bit of a dud. <laughs> I was really hoping for so big. Right, guys, it's the turn of celebrations. Uh, let's just crack into this. So what I'm going to do, once I've opened all the packs, I'm going to quickly jump on my app, and I'm going to add all the cards we pull uh, to that to see if we can get close to 100%. So do stick around. And um, By the way, the code cards don't matter in this set. They're all white code cards because every card in the set is a holographic. You can do a card trick, kind of, because the classic card should be there, but obviously not there in this case. Oh, it's a Surfing Pikachu V. I don't think I need that one. Okay, pack number two. One down, 15 more to go. There's that code card. Hope you're getting some good pulls off these. If you are, do come and join my Discord and show off what you managed to pull. I'd love to know, see if you get anything good. Right, Zekrom. Classic, oh, Cosmog. And, oh, it's the Surfing Pikachu VMAX. I'm not 100% sure if I need that one. I'm, I'm looking forward to putting these in at the end to see which ones we actually need. Now, I think I'm right in saying from when I checked, I have most of the main set. Uh, I think I need just, a cut. I need like the Golden Mew from the main set. Uh, and I don't know if I need any other. I'm trying to think, maybe two from the main set? That might be the max. Um, I should have really had a bit more look into it. But, 
cost me. Not a single classic card so far, but ah, Zakian V. Again, I think I got that one too. Well, so far, no classic cards from these mini tins. A little bit disappointed that. I really expected to get more. Normally, the pull ratios on uh, mini tins, or especially on, on, on celebrations, do seem to be one in two. And it's not gone that way so far, has it, guys? But to the... Oh, my God, still nothing. But... Oh, man. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be completing the set uh, today, if I'm honest, guys. Um, it, I think we went past the point of I needed to get, like, hits in every two pack, every other pack, to be able to try and complete the set today. And it doesn't look like we're going to get that. So I am going to have to open more packs. Hey, Imposter Oak. First classic card of the day, followed by... Oh, it's a Zaki and V again. I need that Golden Mew. But damn, there we go, the first classic card. Really good condition, that one, actually. Looks very nice. Lots of hollow bleed on it as well, that card. A lot of these have been getting strong hollow bleeds, which I know people love. Okay, plenty more to go. Now, one of the cards, which was my chase card, the Charizard, I do already have that. I actually pulled it in a video that I did with my son, um, so I was super happy. Um, yeah, I might have scared him a bit when I celebrated uh, pulling it, but, you know, I, I was happy. Let's see if we get another one. Oh, it's the Cleffa. This one is, seems to be very common to pull the Clefe in particular. Very common in particular. But, ah, Salgaleo. Okay, so we're like halfway through and two classic cards pulled so far. So that's like, what, one in four? I feel like it should be a little bit more than that. Most of the collection boxes, you seem to get two classic cards. So, uh, you never know. Ooh, oh, no, I thought it looked like there was a gold card at the back. And I was thinking, Golden Mew? Are we going to get it? Are we? Yeah! <laughs> I called it. I said we'd get a Venusaur, and look what we've got and pulled. And it was one of the ones I needed as well. We got the Venusaur, followed by the Lunala, which I think I actually need towards my set. But we have one of the big boys. Oh my god, that's so cool to see. I haven't pulled it yet. Oh man, it does. It get it honestly it gets you so nostalgic. This set, and this is what I love about it. And it's nothing to do with the value because it's worth like a tenner. It's like nothing, right? But just to pull it, oh my god, I'm so happy. And it's really tidy. Really tidy. I can't see any real scratching in the card. The centering looks really nice. I'm a happy boy, guys. I am a happy boy. I got the Venusaur from the Classic Collection. Yes, get in. Okay, I'm buzzing now. I'm buzzing. Oh my god. Uh, wow. And I notice I'm slightly shrinking in the video. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Right. Keep them rolling. Keep the classic cards rolling. Let's get some more in here. Dialga. Come on, another one. Ah, Zekrom. Got a mute. What? Three of these we've pulled so far. Three. Oh. Okay. That, man, this is why celebrations are so fun. Especially if you can get a few packs to just sit and crack open. You just get so many cool hits. I'm really looking forward to adding some of these cards to the to what I'm missing. I reckon we'll get to at least 70% in at least now. That's what I'm going to call it. 70% at least. Right. My battle. Zekrom. Come on. Ah, Dialga. But that was a duff pack. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. Oh, wait. So we have only just gone past halfway and we did get three. We're nearly running at one in two, actually. Now think about it. Nearly. We need a couple more. Come on, more classic cards. Let's get them growled on. Cosmo. Yes, we got the Dark Gyarados out. Love, love, love this card. I do, however already have this one i know i do because it was the first classic card i actually pulled in the set i think if i remember correctly and that one is trying to escape out of the top of the card but i take it nevertheless a stunning card one of the coolest like dark cards as well just i love the original one of this so to see it back so cool i don't have the shiny magic up yet which we do need but oh we got a lovely little order you can't complain with those for classic pulls right we'll put them in the middle there and we'll keep adding to them oh Come on. Let's get some more Watsy ones. Birthday Pikachu, Blast Toys. Obviously, another Charles. I wouldn't go miss. That'd be nice. Right. Lunala. Come on! Yo! Oh, he's done it! We got the golden star! Oh <laughs> get in! Oh my god! Wow, the centering is bad on that. 
<laughs> that's not great for centering. But we have the gold star armor. Double pack. Oh my god, I was just I was gonna try and jinx it. Flying at Pikachu V. And we got the gold star Umbreon in there as well. Now, this is really, really cool to see because it is a super rare card, like the original Pop Series one. And I know that some of the, like, um, I don't know, what would you call it? Like, uh, traditionalists don't like that this is hollow because the Gold Star Umbreon is not a hollow card, the original one. But it does look really nice, right? That looks really cool. Oh, man. I appreciate that one, that's for sure. Guys, we've actually ticked off some big cards. One, two in there that we needed so far. Oh my god, I'm well happy. Oh, get in. Oh man, this oh man, this is what celebration is about. It's just honestly about enjoying opening packs, getting those hits you need. Let's see, come on, Zekrom. Another one. <sighs> Maybe I'm being greedy, but oh, we got the full up. This is. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. This is a really common Pikachu to pull though. I'm, I'm seeing one person I know open like their ETB, two ETBs and got six of them across two ETBs. That's crazy. Four packs left, five classic cards pulled so far. <sighs> what do you know? This is, uh, this, is a, this is a good fun opening. I can't wait now to crack into some more. We're actually, uh, as of this video going live, there is, a, I'm doing a box break this Friday of, oh, it's the birthday Pikachu, another one I needed. Get in, oh my God. Wow, and we got a hit behind it as well. The surfing Pikachu VMAX. Man. Oh, I can't believe that. Look at that, look, one, two, three. Look at that. Three cards I needed from the classic collection ticked off the list now. That looks pretty damn clean. Love, look, it's got the original promo. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm actually doing a massive break. I think I'm opening about 80 packs in total over the next two live streams. Um, packs are available to go and grab over on mattcully.co.uk if you want to get your hands on something, come and get involved. Um, it should be really good fun and an opportunity to just open some really cool packs with you guys here on the channel and, and actually see, I don't know, how many of the classic cards we can get out of 80 packs. 80 packs. I, I, that's going to be fun. Right, Zekrom, grab them. One more, come on. Ah, Xerneas. Golden Mew. Oh, it's a dud pack. Okay, two packs left. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, oh, wait, well, hang on. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Six classic cards so far out of 16 packs. Well, out of 14 packs, we've got two left. Basically, if they've got two classic cards in it, We've, we've done one in two, which is insane. Now, I reckon there would be a chance again the Blast Twist today. And can I, like, wish it into existence? Can I will it into existence? Let's find out. Blast Twist! No. Oh, the... I, do I need this one? Okay, last pack of magic. And then I'm going to go through and then add all these to my app to see how far along we are. So stick around for that, guys. But last pack of magic, come on. Let's get something out of this. Let's get one more classic card or the Golden Mew. They're, they're the cards that we need, guys. Um, let's see. Let us see. Okay. So, I think, guys, I've seen a very glittery border. I have a feeling right there is a classic card. You see that? Now, there are a few of the silver border I need, like the Rayquaza I don't have. Uh, the Luxray I don't have either. Uh, maybe it's one of them. We'll see. Uh... Okay, here we go. And the classic card is... Oh, it's a Don Fan, which I actually don't think I have that classic card. Don Fan followed by the Professor's Reset. So no Golden Mew. That seems to be quite a hard one to pull, actually, out of all the cards. Maybe even the hardest one? I'm not sure. Um, but there we go. Another classic card, the Don Fan. And we managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven classic cards from 16 Celebrations Packs. Oh my, I'm, 
I'm blown away. We've got some big hits in there that I'm really, really happy to get. I'm going to add them to the app and we're going to see how far along we are. Okay, so I've just finished putting all the cards that I still needed into my app. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shocked about how we've done, how well we actually did. So for reference, before this video, I had opened 19 Celebrations Booster Packs and had completed 64% of the set. Well, after today's video, we've now opened 35 Booster Packs and... We've now completed 78%. That means we only need 11 more cards to complete celebrations. Just 11 more cards. And some of the big cards are already out of the way. I know that Golden Muse is probably going to be hard to track down, but some of the other ones, I think we're going to be able to do it. I'm, I'm going to be amazed. If we can manage to complete the set in under 100 booster packs, I'd be so blown away. Hopefully, we can do it. So make sure, guys, if you want to follow that journey and seeing if we can complete celebrations in under 100 packs, and make sure to hit the subscribe here on the channel. Hit the alert bell so you don't miss the video. And remember, this Friday, we're doing a huge opening for you guys. There's going to be giveaways for packs and everything. So make sure to come and get involved in that. Other than that, if you did enjoy today's video, do make sure to drop a like on this video. It would be very much appreciated. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!